Hello all, welcome to Raj Informatica. Please subscribe my channel, Raj Informatica on YouTube. And also please comment and like on my videos. Today I'm going to discuss why you want to join Informatica ASS training in Raj Informatica. That I'm going to discuss. And also I'm going to discuss few differences between Informatica Power Center and Informatica ISS. In this course, in Informatica ISS Raj Informatica course, will be almost 70 plus hours and it will go around 35 to 40 days. It is purely ISS end to end training. End to end means complete knowledge and experience you will gain in my training. It will be a end to end real time job based and it's a ISS developer course. It includes both the features, cloud data integration, cloud application integration. After this course, you can easily do ISS certification your own. So in this training, I'll be mainly discussing about data integration and application integration both. Actually, I have divided this course into two parts. That is data into cloud data integration, cloud application integration. In few projects, they will use only cloud integration, cloud data integration, and few projects they will use both cloud data integration and cloud application integration. So it's your choice whether you want to join cloud data integration or both cloud data integration and cloud data, cloud application integration, both. So I recommend you to join both. So if you have budget constraint, so then you can join cloud data integration. So I'll be telling in this training, the complete end-to-end -end processes. And also I'll be, I'll be telling two real-time examples. One is for CDI, one is for CIA. And also I will give, and also I'll give the interview questions. Also, I'll prepare the resume for you. So this and all will be covered in this training. And the main thing is, in this training, the mainly I am focusing on connecting to the different cloud applications like Snowflake, Salesforce, AWS, GCP. We'll be mainly working on, instead of, instead of we are using database as Oracle, we will use Snowflake throughout entire our course. Throughout entire our course, our target will be Snowflake. Source will be anything. It can be Oracle or different, different things we'll use. But in our training, we'll be learning basics of, basics of Snowflake and GCP, AWS also will learn. So that is the main thing because nowadays, if you have Snowflake, Salesforce, AWS, GCP in your resume, you will get more calls and you will get good packages also. That's about this. So in this training, I, as, as I have told, there are two parts, cloud data integration, cloud application integration. So in the cloud data integration, I'll be telling all these topics, all the connectors like Salesforce connection, Snowflake connection, Google Cloud connection, Amazon connect, Amazon Web Service connection, connectors, and how to work on Snowflake Cloud, uh, how, so, how to work on Snowflake, how to, how to use Snowflake as target database. So etc. I will tell you on different, different databases will use not only just a single database will use here, different, different cloud databases will be used in our training. And I'll be telling about entire dashboard. And I'll be, uh, if you want to see the dashboard of ISCS, if you want to see the dashboard of ISCS, this is the dashboard. This is the dashboard of ISCS. And we'll be having different, different transformations like Power Center here also. We'll be discussing about most of the transformations here with all real time examples. And we'll be covering the latest. Uh, transformations like Java transformation, SQL transformation, and many other transformations are there. So we'll be covering all those things on parameterization, complex mappings in ISCS, macros in ISCS, working with JSON files. So JSON files are JSON files nowadays, every cloud application is using JSON, JSON files, XML files, components in ISCS, tasks, task flows. Okay, and also on project implementation in CDA. This is what I'm going to discuss in CDA training. 
if you want to take upon application integration so as i told you there are two parts in iscs cloud data integration cloud application integration after learning cdi then only you can learn ci without learning cdi you cannot learning you cannot learn application integration so if you want you can take first course or both the courses so in the application application integration is advanced concept of iscs after data integration application integration will come so in this i'll be telling about application integration basics what is api why we need api advantages of api what is rest api api soap api and postman tool how to use postman tool then how to use application integration like how to create mct and task in created created in mcts or tasks created by created in ci and also how to call api how to use the jdbc connections okay how to use x queries yeah and also how to use how to how to uh, see the metadata of api what is swagger file working on with swagger file reading api okay from the data, from the cdi and about the complete information about application manager api portal operational insights and what real time examples also apart from that we have some advanced topics in iscs like structured parser transformation and read the data from xml file data masking task flows audit framework there are many things are error handling there are many things are there so all those things i'll be discussed in this iscs training if you learn iscs if you have power center knowledge already if you learn iscs and if you showcase the iscs experience or knowledge in resume you will be surely getting a job and also you will be getting good packages because iscs developers are less in the market so so next 10 years you need to learn a new technology because next 10 years at least iscs is going to used by all the companies wherever informatica they are using so this is all about my course now for a brief we will discuss about the differences between informatica power center and also informatica iscs as you know this is power center tool which we already know and if you want to see iscs iscs is in chrome it will be in web browser so by in web browser you can easily do everything whatever we do in power center everything we can do in iscs now why everybody are moving to iscs what is the use of iscs what is the difference of iscs that is what we are going to see as you know power center is a traditional desktop based that means it is on prem informatica power center is an on premise solution that means it requires it requires a server and client applications as i told you you need to install informatica server and you need to install informatica clients whenever you want to work on informatica power center but iscs you no need to install any software just a small soft, small lightweight software called secure agent unit install that's it 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 will finish in just 5 minutes iscs having similar functionality as power center and also we can easily access via internet or web based application that means you can access through your mobile also but power center it requires server it requires client as i told you maintenance is more in power center so the pins once you install power center client and server you need to manage you need to manage it and also to install power center a database required like a source data like a uh, oracle database or sql server because all the metadata will be stored all the repository information will be saved under this database but to install iscs no database is required because everything is on cloud so we will, we no need to install any database to install to work on iscs yes we require a cloud database or a on premise database anything but to install informatica power center we should require a database to install iscs you no need to require the database cost effective power center is more expensive because it is having hardware and software solutions to run on premise on premise but iscs as it is a cloud based it is more effective 
and it eliminates the need of hardware and software infrastructure. That's why power center is more expensive. Coming to the connectivity, power center typically connected to on-premise data sources like Oracle, SQL, or MySQL, etc., Teradata, etc. But IAC is having a connectivity to cloud data, cloud data sources. Nowadays, whole world is moving into cloud and artificial intelligence. So that's why IAC is having easiest connectivity to any cloud database like Snowflake, Amazon, Amazon Web Services, Google BigQuery, Salesforce, etc. Coming to the data integration features, Power Center is having capabilities having data profiling. It is having capabilities like data profiling, data cleansing, data transformation, data quality, etc. But IAC is also having these features, whatever we have in Power Center. But it is having more features like application integration and also API management. Coming to the integration capabilities, Power Center is a primarily designed for complex data integration projects. Power Center supports batch processing, real-time data integration, virtualization, or visualization. These things it will support. But IAC, on the other hand, it is a lightweight solution. It focuses on cloud-based data integration and application integration. If you know Power Center, it is easy to learn IACS. But the problem is, you will feel, look and feel it is different. But you require someone to guide you through IACS because it is having more features. See, if you see, there are more features in IACS. We have data integration, we have administrator, application integration console, API portal, application integration, API manager, monitor, operation insights. There are more concepts, more advanced concepts in IACS. You need someone to give a better idea, to teach you better on these transformations or mappings or whatever it is. But in this, in our training program, we will surely cover everything in IACS and we will get good experience on IACS. So please do join my training and I'll make sure you to get a job if you learn IACS. If you, if you place the resume by using IACS in your, in your resume, if you, have, if you choose IACS, then surely we will get a good calls because IACS is a hot technology in market. So, please join my training, Raj Informatica ISS, and gain good experience. And surely, surely will not regret if you join my training because Power Center, I have completed 19 batches successfully. Many of the people got many jobs till now. So, the same, you will also get the jobs. And in our next video, in our, I'll be giving a next video. In the next video, you will be learning about how to install Secure Agent, how to create a, how to create a trial account in ISCS. And also, I'll be showing you two, three mappings in my next video. Thanks for watching. And please subscribe my channel. Thank you all. Bye. Thank you.